Hi there, this is Mark Akbar. I produced and co-directed The Corporation, and this is the official shareware version of the film. I'm proud of the fact that hundreds of thousands of people have already downloaded and shared this film. If I had a dollar for every download, well, I probably wouldn't be making this appeal. More than 200 people worked on the film, the DVD, and the website over eight years. If you support the film, please support the filmmakers too. You can make a contribution, large or small, even a couple of bucks would help, at thecorporation.com. Thanks. Canada's most popular documentary, The Corporation. Now on DVD. More than eight hours of extras on two discs, commentaries, the making of, deleted scenes, and more. 165 new interview clips on 23 topics with related web links and strategies for change. Special offers at thecorporation.com. Make us social change. World domination not included. One hundred and fifty years ago, the business corporation was a relatively insignificant institution. Today, it is all pervasive, like the church, the monarchy, and the Communist Party in other times and places. The corporation is today's dominant institution. This documentary examines the nature, evolution, impacts, and possible futures of the modern business corporation. Initially given a narrow legal mandate, what has allowed today's corporation to achieve such extraordinary power and influence over our lives? We begin our inquiry as scandals threaten to trigger a wide debate about the lack of public control over big corporations. I do think there is um, an overhang uh, over the market of distrust. Listen, 95% or some percent, huge percentage of the business community are honest. Uh, reveal all their assets and got compensation programs that are balanced and, uh, but there are some bad acts. The media debate about the basic operating principles of the corporate world was quickly reduced to a game of follow the leader. I still happen to think the United States is the greatest place in the world to invest. We have some shakeups that are going on because of a few bad apples. These are not just a bunch of bad apples. This is just a few bad apples. It's not just a few bad apples. We've got to get rid of the bad apples. You can start with Tyco. Bad apples. We know all about WorldCom. Bad apples. Xerox Corporation. Bad apples. Arthur Anderson. Bad apples. Enron, obviously. Bad apples. Kmart Corporation. The fruit cart is getting uh, a little more full. I don't think it's just a few apples, unfortunately. I think this is the worst crisis of confidence in uh, business. What's wrong with this picture? Can't we pick a better metaphor to describe the dominant institution of our time? Through the voices of CEOs, whistleblowers, brokers, gurus and spies, insiders and outsiders, we present the corporation as a paradox, an institution that creates great wealth but causes enormous and often hidden harms. I see the corporation as part of a jigsaw in society as a whole, which if you remove it, the picture's incomplete. But equally, if it's the only part, uh, it's not gonna work. A sports team. Some of us are blocking and tackling, some of us are running the ball, some of us are throwing the ball, but we all have a common purpose, which is to succeed as an organization. A corporation is like a family unit. People in a corporation work together for a common end. Like the telephone system, it reaches almost everywhere. 
It's extraordinarily powerful. It's pretty hard to avoid. And it transforms the lives of people, I think, on balance for the better. The eagle, soaring, clear-eyed, competitive, prepared to strike, but not a vulture. Noble, uh, visionary, majestic, that people can believe in and be inspired by, that creates such a lift that it soars. I could see that being a good logo for the principal company. <laughs> OK, guys, enough bullshit. Corporations are artificial creations. You might say they're monsters trying to devour as much profit as possible uh, at anyone's expense. I think of a whale, gentle, big fish, which can swallow you in an instant. Dr. Frankenstein's creation has overwhelmed and overpowered him as the corporate form has done with us. The word corporate gets attached in, in almost, you know, in a pejorative sense to, and it gets married with the word agenda. And one hears a lot about the corporate agenda as though it is evil as though it is an agenda which is trying to take over the world. Personally, I don't use the word corporation. I use the word business. I will use the word, use the word uh, uh, company. I'll use the words business community. Because I think that is a much fairer representation than zeroing in on just this word corporation. What is a corporation? It's funny that I've taught in a business school for as long as I have without ever having been asked uh, so, so pointedly to say what I think a corporation is. It is one form of business ownership. It's a group of individuals working together to serve a variety of objectives, the principal one of which is earning large, growing, sustained, legal returns for the people who own the business. 